Muffins, it's me, Keisha, and I'm here with my all T all Shade 2016 MTV Music Awards review. Beyonce just got done performing. After that, I didn't have to see no more, but I'm going to start from the beginning anyway. So Rihanna started off the show giving us a little pink factory, pink psychotic clinic look. Uh, she was very pretty. She looked really gorgeous. She was giving us like a club kid inspired outfit. Um, she gave us a cute little two-step. You know, Rihanna don't really do too much when she performs. Like, she's a lazy performer. She's a lazy man's Beyonce. Uh, but she looked cute nonetheless. Um, I'm a huge Rihanna fan. I love her music. I got my life to the melody of the songs. And at the end, I was like, that's it? That's all the fuck we get? Like, I know that ain't your video Vanguard award performance. But then they tell us she gonna perform like five more times throughout the show. And I was like, okay. So then Ariana Grande come out there. And I give her a thumbs up for singing and exercise at the same damn time. She don't need to exercise. She needs to eat. But I digress. Um, Them bangs and that ponytail, however, was disrespectful to my eyelids. I did not appreciate my pupils witnessing that shit. I'm so tired of her and that old skipper ass ponytail of hers. I'm done. It's disrespectful and it's hateful at this point. Nicki Minaj came out looking like somebody TT with them thighs rubbing together. Like she been acting like she was on house arrest with Meek Mill. She could have just stayed fucking home because she was lackluster. Um, then Future came out. He gave a boring ass performance. He don't. He had on like literally all of his winter clothes that his mom bought him for school for the school year, and he was just boring as fuck. Sierra and Russell and Baby Future, I know, was at home laughing at that <laughs> that nigga. So Kanye came out with an all irrelevant ass rant. Uh, the fact that he shouted out Amber Rose for no fucking reason in front of in front of his wife. Again, lets me know that nigga, you still care and you still want the box. Um, <laughs> the best thing that he said out of that whole fucking speech was, you know, him standing for Beyonce. But then he shows us his new video for Fade, and Tiana Taylor is the star of the video. And I'm like, about fucking time you give your artist some fucking shine because her album was the shit, one of the best albums of 2015, and you did not promote it or help her do shit with it. And I was like, body on fleek, Tiana, especially after having her daughter, Junie, and she was giving us dance moves. You know, she started off as a dancer and a rapper and a singer, and she was just giving us 2016 Rosie Perez, do the right thing, realness, and I was like, yes, bitch. And then at the end, we see her and her fiance, that little basketball, Shumpert nigga, whatever his name is, they was in a fucking shower together, giving us some soft show uh show uh time cinemax after dark realness porn and i was like gosh bitch and then at the end she had a little tiger face going on it was like <laughs> and then you saw her and her nigga and baby junior and a flock of sheep i didn't know what the fuck that meant but it was cute so then rihanna come out with her second performance and it was way better than the first one and she you know was giving us some rude boy island vibes and when she does her little island thing that's when she shines the most and the the whole stage was like set like the work video on steroids, steroids. And you know she started singing work and popping that pussy for a real nigga. And I was like, okay, this is cute. It just still wasn't video vanguard worthy, but it was cute. Second try, maybe the other nine performances she gonna do throughout the night will be better than that. So then Nick Jonas comes out and he performs his song with Ty Dolla Signs, and it was very cute and it was very creative and it was a really good performance. But then the PS de Resistance, we hear Lemonade Live in five more minutes, and I said, you know what, Jesus. You're not about to do this to me on this Sunday afternoon. No, you're not. So, Serena come out looking like a big-ass giant snicker. And I was just hearing because bitch was giving us body. And she introduces mother. Mother comes out looking like a fucking Houston, Texas angel sent down from fucking heaven. Like, she just got done flying off of one of Blue Ivy's unicorns. And she starts off singing, pray you catch me. And I'm like, bitch, I've already fallen. Somebody call somebody to come pick me the fuck up. Vocals is like Sunday dinner at grandma's house. Then the dancers rise from the fucking shadows like fucking African fucking angels. And then as she's singing the lyrics, they start falling and shit like falling soldiers, like falling black men in these fucking streets. And I'm crying and shit. And then this nigga come out the back, out the woodworks and shit and be fall back on his ass. And mind you, he on the black hoodie. <laughs> you know she had all the mothers there with her. Keep on repping Black Lives Matter, bitch. So then, whew, let me calm the fuck down. So then, the dancers intertwine themselves, wrap they shit up and all the dresses around her. Then Beyonce pops up out the middle of it like some motherfucking spring rolls and shit. And she reveal her lace leotard and her thigh-high Louboutin boots. And I'm like, sick, nigga, bitch. You been eating 
some fucking fucking ground turkeys and, and fucking ham hogs and grits and shit while you was vacationing with your nigga and friends because that ass was bootylicious. I mean, that motherfucking ass looked like two motherfucking basketballs that I just want to uh, just move them on the boat. Oh my God. So, whew, she started dancing and shit. And she's shaking that down south fat ass of hers to the camera. She just popping and popping and popping it. I'm like, Beyonce, you're being disrespectful at this point. Just shaking your ass in front of these cameras like these white men ain't looking at you. You know they ain't never seen no meat like this. They ain't never seen no jelly like this. So she hit the chicken head real nasty and shit. And I'm like, come on, be Don't fuck it up too hard. Don't, don't fuck it up too hard. And oh my God. So then she break it down in the middle of hold up. And I died when she gave us that little sickening eight count, bitch. And then she goes into sorry. And they literally, the dancers, throw dust up the side, bitches. And all them hoes in the motherfucking audience, there was some side bitches die. And then the dance moves throughout the whole song was just fucking sick. Mean. They was dancing hard, giving us some real good Frank Gaston choreography. Then... All of a sudden, Beyonce stroll up in her Corella DeVille fur bitch on Don't Hurt Yourself with her pimp daddy stroll, bitch. And I'm like, here the fuck we go. Here the fuck we go, bitch. You know, that's my favorite song off the fucking album. And she like, who the fuck do you think are you? And she, that bitch had a flashback real quick of that nigga when he cheated on him. I was like, Beyonce, calm down. We don't need you catching no motherfucking charges, bitch. Calm the fuck down. You live. You live on tell, bitch. So, at one point... Her swag is just so on a hundred that she get the pop of her pussy while holding on to the rail in front of all them little damn kids. I'm like, these kids can't take this. Beyonce, stop it. It's just too much for everybody. It's stop it. So then, at the end of that performance, she in the middle of a fucking circle of fire. And I'm like, bitch, give us some fucking Daenerys Game of Thrones realness, bitch. All you need is some dragons to come get your ass. So then formation begins. We hear that doom, 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 doom. I'm like, Beyonce, stop it, bitch. I'm about to see you in concert next Saturday. I cannot deal with this. So the dancers got on their new formation costumes, which were fascinating, bitch. So she step up, and they walk to the center of the stage where all the fucking celebrities and artists are at. And I know the why she did that shit. She did that shit so the motherfuckers can see how a real performer performs. I need for you hoes to see this shit up close. This is how the fuck you do it, kids. Take notes. Get your motherfucking iPhones out and take a note in that motherfucker. I'm about to show you how a real seasoned performer gets out here and slays, bitch. So they giving us all the motherfucking choreography, bitch. And then at the end of that motherfucker... The dancers are all around her, giving us some old synchronized swimming ass moves. And then at the at the edge of the stage, at the end of the performance, they lined up in a motherfucking cross and shit, giving praise to Jesus because it's Sunday. I'm like, Beyonce, you know, she's woke. And I'm like, this was Beyonce Video Vanguard Award all over again. Rihanna who? Like, they should have just took the reward from Rihanna and gave it to Beyonce again because she deserved it. Like, they gave Rihanna four more, five motherfucking chances to get it right. And after that, from what I seen, she didn't really get it right after the first two. And Beyonce came out there and killed everybody with one motherfucking 10 minute performance. Bitch, if you hoes, <laughs> let, me, let me sit up. Say this to you artists. She gives you the blueprint. She shows you what it looks like. None of you are taking notes. I don't know if you're afraid. I don't know if you know you're subpart and competent. You just don't, will never live up to what the fuck she gives us. But bitch, she shows you what a performer looks like. She shows you. She gives you the blueprint. Why don't you all take it? It's unfair at this point. It was real key disrespectful to Rihanna. This was her gear. And Beyonce just came and shitted on her ass again. But she can't help it. When you a sickening ass bitch, you a sickening ass bitch. Oh my God. And like, it's just unfair at this point. Like, I don't even know what to say about this woman. She's fucking fantastic. She never fails. And if she does have a fall, it's like minuscule and nobody notices it. Like, then her being blue ivy slaying a motherfucking red carpet and shit looking like fucking the Wiz. She looking like Glenda the Good Witch. I'm like, girl, it's not fair, Beyonce. It's just really not at this point, girl. Like... I don't understand how you all can get underneath my Beyonce video and say, she all right. I mean, I don't understand it. This is proof in the motherfucking pudding. We saw like eight performers before her and they were all mediocre at best. And then she comes out <laughs> and that doesn't even give us her full 100%. Let's keep it all the way 100. For Beyonce on a scale of 1 to 10, 
That performance was like a seven for her. That's when she crapping. That's her crapping performance. She probably was on her period today. But like, bitch, you hoes can't even compare to her when she's on her menstrual cycle. Like, I'm done. I'll be seeing her in concert next Friday here in St. Louis. And please believe I will be videotaping it all and give my full fucking review. It's not fair to you hoes. But I mean, hey. You didn't come through Tina Nose fucking vagina wall. So, Matthew didn't shoot up your mama's club. So, I don't know what the fuck to tell you, bitches. It's unfair. It's unreasonable. But that's my idol. That's my bitch. I'm going to get my life when I see her next week. I've been trying not to think about it because I don't want to get too motherfucking excited. It's my second time seeing her live and fucking uh, perf uh, performing live or whatever in concert. A bitch will be slain to and sick then. Get your life. But, um... I guess I'll go and watch Britney Spears lip sync. <laughs> guess I'll watch Rihanna perform nine more times and still not get it right. I mean, who else is left? Nobody. Girl, Beyonce done went home and started frying her some chicken and put blue to bed at this point. Girl, and they broke a sweat. Y'all, good night. I'm not. I mean, I don't have nothing more to say. If you're not a believer yet, you're a loser. Your mother should have aborted you. Good night.